Hi, I'm Dr. Katrina Phillips, and I'm here to talk to you about creating a sound on the clarinet. These are probably your very first sounds. You've probably already learned how to assemble the clarinet and how to put the reed onto the mouthpiece. Now I'm going to show you how to make your mouth form over the mouthpiece and how to blow into the clarinet. Then we'll learn how to put your fingers onto the clarinet and how to play the first five notes. So um, the ligature and the reed are already on the mouthpiece and you can go ahead and put the mouthpiece into the barrel of the clarinet. Then you'll be able to hold onto this small piece and you'll be able to blow into it without having to deal with the whole entire clarinet and that makes it easy to hold on to. You're gonna to want to put your lips in an O shape, O. And at the same time, you'll wanna put your tongue in an E shape, O, E. This makes a drawstring-like shape with your lips. It makes a nice cushion for the reed. Your teeth, top teeth, are actually going to touch the mouthpiece. Some people like to buy a mouthpiece um, patch to put on top of the mouthpiece. I have one on mine because it does make a little bit of vibration on top of the mouthpiece. Um, and some people feel that that's a little uncomfortable, but it, it might not bother you at all. Um, and then you're going to actually cover your bottom teeth with your bottom lip. So your top teeth go on the mouthpiece, your bottom lip, covers your bottom teeth. O, E, and then you insert the mouthpiece and you blow. So you can hold onto your barrel and blow into your mouthpiece. And it's gonna make that kind of high pitched tone and that's what it sounds like without the clarinet attached to it. Now, you're gonna have this um, angle that's sort of a 35 degree to 40 degree angle from your body. If you have it too close to you, it's not gonna come out sounding quite right. It's gonna be kind of a pinched sound. It's also gonna be kind of dampened if you have it too far away from you. So you wanna get it at this nice angle. You also want to put enough mouthpiece in your mouth. And you can tell how much mouthpiece to put in your mouth if you simply insert a piece of paper between the reed and the mouthpiece. And this will show you the proper fulcrum, how much mouthpiece you really need to take into your mouth, where you should put your bottom lip on the reed. If you take in too much mouthpiece, you might just squeak and make a really high pitched sound. And that's, you, you'll discover that easily and you'll correct that instantly and take less mouthpiece. But we want you to get enough mouthpiece that you make a nice vibrant sound and there's enough reed in there to make a good tone. And once you've gotten a good sound with simply the barrel and the, and the mouthpiece, you can twist on to the upper joint and the rest of the clarinet since you've already learned how to assemble the clarinet in another video. And we can start to learn how to play some notes. So we want to put our um, bottom right hand under the thumb rest and our left hand on top. And we're going to curve our hands in a nice C shape comfortably. Now we're going to be taking nice deep inhalations into our body in the corners of our mouth in order to breathe in and then down into the clarinet. Now the first note we're going to learn is very simple. It's our open G. We don't have to put any fingers down on the clarinet, but we're able to balance and the clarinet with our right hand thumb and our mouth. Okay, we've got our mouth sealed around the clarinet. But if you feel comfortable, 
you can, uh, or if you don't feel comfortable with just your thumb and your mouth, you can grasp the clarinet at the barrel for this first time. And that's how the open G sounds. Now, once you feel comfortable, you can go ahead and lo locate the keys that you'll be needing later on and hold your fingers close to them to get ready for the next notes and play the G with your fingers near the holes. Okay, try that a few times. You can pause the video and try the G a few times. Now, one thing I need to go ahead and talk about and we'll be talking about in another video is tonguing. Whenever you get ready to play a note, the best way to play that note is to start with your tongue on the reed. You put your, the tip of your tongue on the tip of the clarinet reed, and then you release your tongue to make the sound. So go ahead and try that now. Put your tongue on the tip of the reed, release the tongue to make the sound. You can think of the syllable T, T, T. Rather than think of a um, of turning off a garden hose and turning it back on, think of it as blowing uh, the air, um, the water continuing, and you're simply putting your hand through the water. Now we'll talk about that in a separate video. But let's go on to our next note. Our next note is our thumb F. We're gonna add our left hand thumb over this hole in the back, right here. Put your left hand thumb over the hole, cover it completely, that's the only one you cover, and play the thumb F. <laughs> I'm starting my air, uh, the tone with my tongue, and blowing with my air. Okay, you try that note a few times. You can pause the video. And we're constantly thinking about our embouchure. Embouchure is the muscles that we're using to um, control uh, the lips around our mouthpiece, or circular O shape like a drawstring bag, and we're keeping our chin flat and pulled down. And our bottom lip is over our bottom teeth. The next note is an E, our thumb and our first finger. Okay, good. Now we're adding another finger, just moving our way down the instrument. A D. And the last note that you'll learn today is a C. Add one more finger, so you'll have thumb, one, two, three, a C. Good. Okay, I hope you feel more confident about how to make a sound on the clarinet.